you know if you're in the game or not around these areas, like around the things that Trent just talked about? How do I know if I'm actually in the game? And here's, before we get started, here's how I'd like to set you up. The value in knowing if you're in the game or not is the value of knowing if you're gonna draw the things that you want or are trying to attract into your life. So if there's something you want in your life, it would be pretty valuable to know if you're even in the game around getting it. Because if you're not in the game, you're not actually pulling it closer to you. When you're in the game, you're pulling it. When you're not in the game, it's just stuck over there. And if you have something, just ponder with me for a moment, but if you have something that you've been wanting, if you have something that you've, has been like a, a, a craving desire or something that you've really wanted for your life or something that just hasn't been showing up, this might be your training to get access to like, how do I actually bring that thing forward? How do I actually manifest that thing into my life? So the games we play, in most games we play, there are multiple views uh, the game is being played from, meaning like different perceptions that the game is happening from. For example, there are people playing the game. So if you're playing like soccer, or baseball, golf, there are the people who are actually in the game, holding the club with the ball, interacting with the points. Those are the people playing the game. There are the spectators or the people who are spectating the game. And in any professional sport, there are always spectators, right? The people who are watching. There's the coaches. There's the people who are designed and trained to guide the players, the people that are actually in the field or on the court. And then there are player assistants, people that help uh, individual players or trainers. And there are also scorekeepers. There are the people who keep scores, the statisticians who keep and track every movement. You know, I'm a big jazz fan now, and I've learned a lot about how they do all this. And there are people who are assigned to each player to watch, like, oh, did they have a foul? Did they just have, uh, did they just make a point? Did they just have a rebound? Did they just have an assist? And they literally track every single one of those uh, matrix because it, it defines who they are as a player, defines their value as a player, whether they're getting traded or how much they're gonna pay them every year. So where you show up in the game significantly changes your ability to have impact in the actual results. So again, imagine the thing that you're wanting, whether it's in your health, your wealth, your relationships or spirituality, any of those four areas, imagine like there's this thing and you're like wanting to have it come closer, but it just, for whatever reason, you haven't been able to manifest it. It could be from a wealth perspective, it could be like a, something as simple as a house, like having your own home or being out of debt or in a relationship. It could be manifesting or pulling a new relationship into your life. It could be a significant other, like a romantic relationship. It could be a friend. It could be uh, how many friends you have. It could be, um, relationships you have with people who are helping you win in your life around money, or around your spirituality, around having certain influences. Uh, when it comes to your health, a lot like what Trent talked about, it could be uh, something around your diet, how much you weigh, how, how you feel, how you look. And then with your spirituality, it's all about like your connection, right? Your connection to a higher source, a higher power, and how that helps propel you in your other areas of your life, how it actually directly correlates to your performance. So in any of those four areas, it's like, okay, yeah, I do have some goals in those spots. And it's like, why is the thing still stuck out there? Why haven't we been able to draw it in and actually reach and obtain the thing that we wanted? So what if you thought you were in the game and I was to tell you you're actually not? What if you thought you were actually playing? You thought that you were actually running a business. You actually thought you were being a COD or you're actually uh, trying to make money or you're trying to uh, get commissions or you're trying to like better your health or you're trying to have better relationships, but you actually weren't. All this energy you've been spending in that area, you actually weren't in the game around it. And let me get more clear around what we're seeing here. Because 
in sports games, in like a sport game, this seems really silly to even be having this conversation, right? It's like if I were to tell this guy who's throwing the ball, like, hey, you're not actually in the game. It'd be really silly because it'd be obvious he's in the game or he's not. Imagine you're a football player and I was to tell you that you're not actually playing in the game when you thought you were. Like it would just be ridiculous, right? It would almost be ridiculous to consider in that circumstance you're not or you are. Because it's just so obvious when you're playing like a sport. But when playing in the game of life, it is very easy to think you're in the game when you are actually not. We will take some time to help you identify multiple areas in your life. You show up in the stands when you actually think you are in this game. If you are not getting long-term results in the game, you think you are playing, let's look together and get you out of the stands and in the game. So let's talk about relationships. Life is filled with relationships. You cannot, you cannot have a relationship. And it doesn't even, you could go live on a lone island, you still have relationships. It's just with other things. It's with inanimate objects. It's with how you relate to the island. I mean, all, all of this is relationship. It's how you relate. And so the most common ones that we focus on are the ones we have with other people. But life is filled with these relationships. And often those type of relationships are at work, right? You have people you work with. You have people that you go home to. You may have animals you go home to and your community that you live in, right? Your neighborhood, your complex, wh whatever the circumstance might be. You will be able to tell when you are in the game in your relationships because you are actually doing something about or for them. So like when you're in the game with, let's say one of your friends, you're with your friend and you're doing something. You might be, I don't know, going out for dinner, having lunch, having a conversation that deepens the relationship, you know, whatever. But you would be in the game around that. When you're in a conversation around your relationship, where are you? So I want you to consider this. When you're like with another friend, but you're talking about this friend who isn't there, are you in the game with your friend who isn't there? Are you actually in the game and in the game is, means getting results. Are you actually strengthening your relationship with a friend who isn't present? Are you actually strengthening your relationship or having a stronger relationship with your friend who isn't there when you're talking about him in your head, when you're having thoughts about him? And the reality is you're not because they're not there. To actually have impact, you would have to be interacting on some level, a text, a call, uh, an interaction, an exchange of some, of some sort. And in those moments, you're in the game. Anything outside of that, you're not in the game with that person anymore. So take a look for a moment and see where you show up not in the game in your relationships. Like where do you show up not in the game with your relationships? Have you ever been in gossip around someone you are in a relationship with? So it's like you're in a relationship with them. You, maybe they're a coworker, maybe they're your boss, maybe they're your manager, maybe you're, maybe they're like you are their manager, maybe you're their boss. And have you ever found yourself talking about them when they weren't there? Now I know like we look at this and we're like, Matt, sheesh, like we're human. Like, of course we do this. And I catch myself doing this sometimes also, but it's the level at which you do it. And you could just know that you're not in the game. Like, in, in fact, what's fascinating, I find the people that want strong relationships the most, the people that are craving deep, intimate, connective relationships are the ones who gossip the most. It's like they, they're they disconnected with like, the game is over here. Like to actually have that, you gotta go down to the field and go play. You can't be in the stands talking about the players in the game. That's not gonna get you what you want. Have you ever been avoiding a person because maybe there's some type of conflict or issue with them? Have you ever related to something involving a relationship like you have done it, but not directly? 
Like you related to something involving someone else, whether at work or at home, like you did it, like you were involved with it or you were assisting with it in some way, but really you had nothing, you, you didn't. Like you really didn't. You really did nothing. And instead, all you were doing was relating. Like there's a difference, and here you gotta be careful with this one also. There's a difference between the act and then after the act, relating to the act. It's like, oh, we went out to dinner, it was really great, blah, blah, blah. And then like later, you're relating something or relating to the event where you were actually in the game. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that moment where you were relating to an event where you're actually in the game, you are no longer in the game anymore. You're back in the stands. Do you, how about talking about how to be in the game in relationships? Like this moment even, this moment that we're talking about being in the game with relationships, we're not actually in the game with relationships. Do you see that? The only thing we're in the game in right now is self-awareness. This is a training on, are you being self-aware? Like that's the game we're playing right now is self-awareness on how do I, how do, how do I react with other people? How am I in relationships with other people? That's the game that you're in. We're not actually in the game of a relationship right now. Uh, we are in the game of the relationship with me and we're, we're building, uh, shaping, molding your interaction, relationship, connection with me. And so you could say in this moment, we are in the game around that relationship. 